In this video, we're gonna show you how to see who viewed your Instagram stories. Plus, take a deeper look at Instagram analytics to make sure you're creating great stories content. Let's get into it. Hi, my name's John Tanner, CEO and co-founder here at Social Media College. Instagram stories is one of Instagram's hottest features, providing users with quick, disappearing images and videos they don't wanna miss. With stories, you can give your followers a behind the scenes look at your life beyond the polished face of your brand. Additionally, you can create fun, interactive content that keeps them coming back for more. Part of Instagram Stories' appeal for users is being able to see who is viewing and interacting with their stories. Not only can you see who views your stories frame by frame, you can also study the analytics behind your stories to see which ones engage your audience and which ones don't. This provides you with valuable insights into what content is working with your stories and what you might need to adjust. Why does it matter who viewed my Instagram stories? Knowing who viewed your Instagram stories means that you can see who your audience is or who your client's audiences are and what they're engaging with in your story's feed. Beyond that, you can see who is engaging most frequently, what content they're watching from beginning to end and what they're interacting with. If you know what content your audience is interacting with and watching from start to finish, you can duplicate that type of content for future stories. But if certain segments of your audience drop off after a first or second story, you can immediately see which content wasn't relevant to them. Knowing who views and interacts with your Instagram stories can give you valuable insights into the information you're delivering and who it's going to. You don't want to attract the wrong audience with content that isn't truly relevant to your brand. Therefore, it's important to keep up with who's viewed your Instagram stories so that you can make effective adjustments to the content you're putting out there. How to see who viewed your Instagram stories. It's super simple inside the Instagram app. Stories viewer lists are only visible during the 24 hours that a story is visible, then an additional 24 hours afterward. This means viewer lists and view counts are only available for 48 hours total. So if you want to know exactly who sees your stories, you'll need to keep a close eye on your analytics in your accounts daily. To get to the viewer list from a current story, simply tap into your Instagram stories and swipe up. You'll immediately see an option to choose between your analytics and your viewer list. Click the eye icon and you'll be able to see your list of viewers. At the top of your screen, you'll see that all your current stories are displayed horizontally. You can tap on each story to see viewer lists, making it easy to see who watched your stories all the way through and who dropped off. If you leave the insights screen up, you can swipe across, then tap on the other stories you're interested in seeing. View accounts display on each thumbnail. As you select the stories you want to analyze, note which ones got more views than others and what types of content they contain. You'll wanna keep that in mind for future stories you post to your feed. Instagram Stories Analytics. There are two ways to view your Instagram Stories Analytics inside the Instagram app. The first is by tapping on your current stories from your profile, exactly how we tap to see our viewer lists. Once you've tapped your story, Swipe up from the bottom of the screen and tap the graph in the upper left corner. Your insight screen will show you an overview that includes information about the number of accounts reached, content interactions, audience, and content you've shared over the time period you're studying. You'll be able to get a good idea of how many actions were taken from your story, whether it resulted in any profile visits or replies, how many accounts were reached, whether you got any new follows from a story, how many of your total viewers navigated through all of your stories, how many dropped off, and how many exited after viewing the one you're looking at. It's also possible to check a limited amount of Instagram Stories Analytics from the Insights button on your Instagram profile. Because much of the Stories Analytics information disappears after 48 hours, you'll only be able to see a small amount of information. However, you can still get an idea of which of your stories perform the best. First, tap the Insights button on your Instagram profile. That will take you to a dashboard that allows you to view your recent highlights from either the last seven days or the last 30 days. Select what time span you'd like to view, and the mobile app will adjust the data it displays on your screen. If you scroll down the page, you'll see the options to view analytics for your recent posts or stories. Tap Stories to see your Instagram Stories analytics. Once you're inside the Stories screen, you can choose whether to view stories from the last 7, 14, or 30 days. Select your time span of choice. Select the story you'd like to analyze. Like your live storage, you'll want to swipe up from the bottom of the screen and you'll see the insights window for that specific story. Instagram Stories Metrics. From your main stories analytics screen, you can select the specific metrics to study. Let's take a deeper dive into your options. Back. Your back analytics measure which stories users clicked on, then navigate backwards to see the previous stories 
before it. High numbers of back users on a story indicate that it was interesting and engaging enough for the viewer to go backward and see what you posted before. Call button taps. The call button taps metrics give you a snapshot of how many people have tapped the call button on your profile from a story. Email button taps. Email button taps in Instagram stories measures how many users have tapped the email button on your profile from a story. Exited. If users have exited your stories at a certain point, then your content isn't holding their attention any longer. Pay close attention to whether there's a pattern to users exiting your stories and try to weed out the types of content that may not be resonating with them. Follows. The follows metric measures which stories you got the most follows from on your profile. Is there a particular type of content or call to action that's driving a big increase in followers? Next story. Your next story metrics give you a clear look at how many viewers are tapping through from one story to the next. That means your content is holding their attention and they're excited to see more in many cases. Though they may also be rushing through to see what's next. Compare this to exit rates and other engagement metrics to make sure. Get directions taps. This metric will show you how many accounts followed your story to the get directions button on your profile, then tapped on it. That means users clicked to get directions to your physical location. Impressions. The stories with the most impressions are your top watch stories. This means you've reached more accounts with these particular stories than with others you posted from your account. Link clicks. For links included in an Instagram story, business accounts can see how many link clicks they received in any given stories. The stories with the highest number of clicks can be emulated in future content. Forward. Forward metrics can mean a viewer clicked through to your next story. Take a look at your stories with the highest number of forward clicks to get an idea of what's keeping your audience interested in the stories you share. Profile visits. The profile visits metrics means users are clicking through to visit your profile from a particular story. Take a look at the story's content that people are coming to your profile from. Is there a particular pattern you can emulate for next time? Reach. A story's reach encompasses the total number of accounts and actions that stem from one story. This includes impressions and all the navigation actions. Replies. The replies metric gives you an idea of how many people reply to your story. Taking a look at your top performing stories for replies will give you a clear idea of what kinds of content encourage your followers to send you a direct message. Shares. The shares metric reveals how many of your story's viewers shared it, either via a direct message or to their own stories. Text button taps. The text button taps metrics measures how many of your story's viewers tapped a button included in your text, such as an at mention. Website taps. This metric lets you know who headed to your profile from your story to visit your website. It's valuable to know whether you're driving traffic off platform so you can get a feel for the content and information they're most interested in. Story interactions. Story interactions measures your top engaged Instagram stories. They're the stories where the most actions were taken, including the direct message replies and profile visits. This metric essentially aggregates all the interactions with your story, then ranks each one based on its total number of interactions. Carefully consider the stories that appear highest in your story interactions list and create more content like this. Experiment with using stickers, interactive content, and links to see what performs best. You can use these highly engaging stories to drive conversation around your brand and drive your followers to take specific action. Third-party tools for stories analytics. If you're looking for expanded stories analytics information on an at-a-glance interface, there are a few third-party tools available that allow business owners to get a clear picture of how their stories are performing. Here are two of the most powerful tools available. Number one, Later. Later is a third-party social media scheduling platform that features Instagram story scheduling. In addition to detailed analytics, on your story performance. The app displays all your stories analytics in one place so you can easily compare story performance over a period of seven, 14, or 30 days. Inside Later's analytics dashboard, users can view a detailed story performance report. The report features an easy to analyze grid that features recent stories posted within your selected timeframe. You can sort the grid by impressions, reach, replies, back, forward, exited, completion rate, and average views per user. The grid uses a color coding system to indicate story performance from low to high, making it simple to determine which stories perform best. You can analyze story performance according to each metric, which will help you determine which types of content to duplicate. Later for business pricing starts at around $12 per month and goes up from there based on the number of social profiles you need to connect to your account. Number two, Sprout Social. Sprout Social is a social scheduling service with powerful analytics capabilities. It's detailed, data-driven dashboard provides you with a deep insight into stories performance and what's resonating with your audience. 
Sprout Social's Instagram Stories Analytics are a detailed, deep dive into exactly what's happening with your stories. You can view a general overview of your story performance in Sprout's sent message dashboard or in the Instagram profile report. The report contains a visual graph plus specific metrics, totals, and growth percentages. Sprout's metrics include story replies, story tapbacks, story taps forward, story exits, story impressions, and average reach per story. As far as pricing is concerned, Sprout Social starts at around $100 per month and scales up from there, depending on the number of profiles you need to connect. Final thoughts. Being able to analyze insights from your audience is important not just in Instagram stories, but on your website and all your social media platforms. When you know what content is resonating with your audience, you can keep providing more of that. Serving up the right content via stories or otherwise means broader reach and growth for your brand and for the clients you serve. Let us know in the comments, is there a particular Instagram stories metric that you're using to optimize the type of content that you share to stories? If you want to grow a business fast using social media marketing, click on the link below in the description for some free online video training, plus some great examples of people who've been able to do it successfully in the past. My name again is John Tanner, CEO and co-founder here at Social Media College. I hope you really enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.